Yeah, yeah, I'm a pip. Oh, <laughs> what up, my people? It's time for this guy right here. He's just 12 years old. His name is Angel Montas. He's from Dominican Republic. You will be impre impressed about this kid. He's just 12 years old and he's already 6'4. But you see what else he got. Mi gente, English. My people. <laughs> Just, just to be <laughs> okay. Oh, let's give a shout out to this guy right there. We saw it in this TikTok, HBD Baseball Academy. That's Something Spanish. Like that. If you know Spanish, you know. We're gonna translate all this, uh, but this is a good information for you. That you are 12 years old and you thinking uh, your competition is all around you, and that's it. If you mm. wanna go to professional level, think about these kids in Dominican Republic with 12 years old. He's about to take your money that you're thinking that you're going to have. So, let's get ready. El increíble prospecto de la clase 2027 que por su gran físico y habilidades impresiona a todos los scouts a pesar de... Okay, stop it. So, he's a 2027 20, kid. From the class 2027 kid. And, he, and he's saying that he's already impressed all the scouts for his size. Like he's a 6'4 kid. Like I told you, with 12 years old. 6'4. Years old, so he said he played uh, outfield and 2027 kid. So that's why. En la academia Jaime Ramos y Mejía top 10 en República Dominicana. Montas. Okay. So he 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 trained in an academy called Jaime Ramos and some other academy. I forgot. Mejía something. There we go. Yeah, he trained on those academies. In Dominican Republic, so he's from there. Those kids, all oh, is baseball. Baseball, they're that's young what they do. and they're working out. They're all baseball every day. They sometimes they go away from their families just to follow the dream as a young age. When a lot of kids over here are 12 years old, they come home yeah. and play PlayStation. Yeah, yeah these man. kids they're already committed. Hopefully, they're trying to just get in 12 the years old. They playing PlayStation and what else and eating Cheetos. That's eating what they're Cheetos. doing. Come on, I mean, bro. I what the say, hell are you doing in your bed? I'm, Wake up. I'm not saying everybody like that, but a lot of kids, they're just in YouTube, uh, not watching us all the time. No, you got to watch us. <laughs> you have to watch us. You got to watch us and then go train. Yes. You watch us and then you, you will feel like you have to train. Montas presenta una estatura de 6 pies y 4 pulgadas con tan solo 12 años, el cual tiene un físico atlético y flexible, lo que le permite... Okay, stop it. So he said he's 6'4", with just 12 years old, and he has a super, very athletic body, as you can see. So he can hit everywhere. That's why he said both sides. He good with hitting everywhere. Look at this. Both mechanic. sides. Really good. Uh, great coil. Great coil with a good balance in the back leg. Like, normally kids that age, is hard to... Make them trust, it create that balance in the back leg with a good coil. And right there, he's, he's good moving forward the right way, not jumpy, no aggress not too aggressive, just kind of landing forward. At the same time, he move forward, he keep the coil and create good, good stretch with the knob to the catcher. And when, and tilt in the back leg, so that's good. And that's another thing. He's just 12 years old, and the way how he can move with just 12 years old and that size, which normally you see kids that tall and they they move awkward. They're like a giraffe, just born yeah, giraffe. Yeah. You <laughs> Little know, giraffe. There, are, there are kids, and then they still, some of the tall kids, they just don't develop muscles yet that well, and they're like, they don't move that well. Mm -hmm. So they ha we have to weigh and work hard, and at some point, those tall kids they start moving better. Yeah. But this kid, have great control of his body and great mechanics. He's yeah. really tilted. already working back tilting. He's loose. He's not tight. He trusts the low. At the same time, he land. He's just already working and tilting back there. And the barrel is whipping it back there, allow him to just having that finish, almost like a Ken Griffey Jr. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, stop it. So you see, he say 
he got a good arm from the outfield. He throw hard. Well, that's good too. Yeah. Got good arm, good body. His mechanic look good. very consistent and, and, and close to where we want it. Oof. Además, sus manos ultra rápidas le ayuda a generar batazo con mucha potencia, el cual en las Open. prácticas. Well, he say he got super very uh, very quick hands when he's hitting, which that's something I would not say or it's not just his hands. Yeah, it's yeah. The way how he's moving, his mechanic, his mechanic made him be quick in his swing. When you got a lefty ability and a great mechanic, normally your hands will look faster. Okay, it's not just your hands. Obviously, he got a great coil. He trusts in that turn of the back leg, and the back leg bringing all that, uh, all the back hands. I mean, the hands, how the it's hands, supposed yeah. to be. And with the good sequence of the barrel. So, he got the. In practice, he can he hit the ball very far. He hit a bunch of home runs, uh, like super far. And another thing, he's, uh, they say for his age, he's capable of hit fast pitches, which kids of his age cannot even touch him. And this kid already can hit him. So he's already ahead of kids of his age when he's hitting. Obviously, like, his mechanic. Yeah, his mechanic, a lot, to mechanic. That, that's a confusion a lot of kids have. Like, his mechanic look like he can be consistent yes. with speed or off pitch. So when you go with speed, the way he's doing, normally he, the kids can read better the off pitch because look at how... He don't look out of control. He he's in control. A lot of kids this age are jumping forward and very, like, the mechanics don't look good, but they're good hitting fastballs. But they, when they throw a ch off pitch, that's when they cannot play the highest level. And I, this kid is super close to where the mechanic is supposed to be so he can perform because the projection is there. But now that he can have uh, the elite swing to be elite and perform in the highest level, obviously your athletic ability will push you and will take you somewhere. But it's not just that. You can stay halfway and not get it to where you want it because you never have the mechanics right and stuff like that. <laughs> Cabe destacar que Montaz tiene la capacidad de batear a lanzadores de alta velocidad, por lo que lo coloca. So that's, that's he just say what I just told you, like he's capable of hitting high velocity. Entre los bateadores zurdos de su clase, es reconocido como uno de los jardineros élite por sus cualidades y habilidades. Stop it. So in his class, 2027, he's uh, recognized by all the athletic ability that he has. Uh, he, he's already standing, uh, how you say, como tu dices? Uh, he, like, he, he showed that he can, he, he, one of the best. Yes, he, he, like he getting elite. awards. Yes, like a, he's an elite already, you know. And when you get that kind of award and those academies, when they already have prospects in the past, they already know what is a good prospect. And as a 12 years old, he putting good stuff out there, information and attention like that. That mean it's good. Ángel Monta se proyecta como una de las grandes joyas de las firmas internacionales de la clase 2017. So, lastly, what he say, he is projectable to be one of the first pick or first, one of, a good sign for international. When the yeah, international sign, he's going to be one of the most that people going to talk. Yeah, uh, because the catcher from San Diego, what is his name? Uh, What's oh. something Salazar? Salas, eh, eh, Salas. Ethan Salas. Ethan, Ethan Salas. Salas, the catcher. He got six million dollars, right? Yes. Six, yes. seven million, or so something like that. This kid is taller, stronger, Strong. yeah, uh, good arm, athletic, and I feel like he got better swing. As a twelve years old, so that tell me that he probably gonna get more money than that. Mm. Size. Oh yeah, so he better probably. Who can be one of the highest ever? He's hitting life right there. Mm. He keep trusting. He he don't just low like that in BP. He low like that in in life too. You know. You see, he pick up the front foot early, 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 and then when the pitcher the pitcher is about to release, that's when he start moving. Ooh. 
he's not moving forward. But the good thing is he's, he's in the back leg. Oof. Allow him to just respond and see the ball well. That's why he can hit good uh, fast pitches. Because if he's jumping forward, he probably don't get the barrel on time. And the barrel angle behind, working behind, allow him to get early in the song. So, obviously, all the information that they bring out there is making sense in his mechanic. Oof. No, that kid is impressive. Now, perfection. We still had to work a little bit, not drifting a little bit forward. You see a little bit drifting right there? Because if you see the body bones, body bones, the closer you can, it's like back there. Obviously, but what you can expect from 12 years old. Obviously, we got some kids that are 12 and we're working on this. That normally, they're looking for power and they can get away with some things because they don't see the highest potential pitchers out there every day. So they can mm -hmm. get away and they're going to be like, I hit 300 yesterday. I'm doing good. And then you see the mechanic. Uh -uh, it's not there yet. So you have to always be a specific uh, but other than that, really good stretch, good turn, good low, good coil, good, good sequence, and he's super close to be uh, to have a lead swing as a 12 years old. So oh, yeah. that tell me that hey, this kid can probably play for longer term and make it to the majors earlier, mm. earlier, just because he's gonna keep growing and getting stronger. And plus the mechanics that he have show me that he can he can perform against the best pitchers. Now, mindset, that's another thing that's come later. You can you have to know the kid, but he seemed very confident. So people, people you from here, you from United States, get ready. International kids are coming for you. International kids are working every day, they're getting upgrade, they're getting more information, and they keep working. So the competition is getting tougher, okay? And always thinking that you're competing against somebody. Somebody out there is better than you. Somebody out there wanting more than you, always. So don't sleep down just because you got a good weekend or you got a good year. Just go harder and harder every year, all right? <laughs> Bye. Stupid chair. Golly. <laughs> People, subscribe and make sure you go to Castro Bros in Instagram if you want drills and you want to get better and be an elite. Subscribe there. And don't, don't put that. Don't put that chain in, in, in the roof. <laughs> you guys don't get that thing in the roofs. Look at it's that. Going to Instagram. Sure, bro. Sorry. See you on the next video. People, subscribe. Ah. Let's keep growing. Bye.